Assalamualaikum dan salam sejahtera. Anda sedang menonton bisnes awani bersama saya Najib Mat Arif dan Suirim diamanahkan program alam sekitar Pertubuhan Bangsa Bersatu PBB untuk menjadi tuan rumah mesyuarat keempat forum antarabangsa kerjasama Life Cycle Assessment LCA baru-baru ini dan bagi membincangkan dengan lebih lanjut bersama kita di studio ialah Dr. Chen Sausun iaitu pengarah kanan bahagian kajian dan inovasi teknologi Sirim. Thank you so much doctor for joining yes. us at this time. Now, first of all, I know it is very important for us to assess mm -hmm. or to monitor the uh, production of each particular products so that we can produce more green product in the coming futures. Mm -hmm. So maybe um, overview of the LCA itself so that people will understand it because, mm, because I think right. I'm sure, pretty sure it's quite technical in that sense. Yes. Now, LCA has by itself is called Life Cycle Assessment. Yes. So if you want to think of it as a cradle, uh, something is born, mm -hmm. till the time something goes back to the grave when it is no longer of use, what is the what, what environmental impacts are created by this product? Mm -hmm. So life cycle assessment basically talks about life cycle of a product and what are the impacts it creates along its whole life. So it's not just at the factory, but it can be at the time when we use it, for example, the pen we are using or the paper we are using. What impact does it create to the environment? Mm -hmm. So LCA gives that accounting that uh, we normally do not think about and we always associated, uh, associate environmental impacts with just the factory emission. Mm. We always look only at the water that comes out. We don't realise environmental impact comes also from the use of the product mm -hmm. and also from what materials is, are being used to make the product. So that is the whole concept of LCA life cycle assessment mm -hmm. yeah so and we need that now because the movement at the global trend is to consider environmental performance yes. not just from um, not just at production mm -hmm. we now look at environmental performance in terms of the product from the time it is designed to the time when do we send it back to the waste dump mm -hmm. or can we have can we actually use it to make another product Mm. So this consideration actually is a very important contribution to the whole environmental protection. Mm -hmm. uh, so people should now start thinking of even businesses that my impact to the environment is not just at, at my factory. Mm -hmm. uh, it is also what I sell to the public, mm -hmm. what I produce and how it impacts. Yes. So if that's so, it would involve a lot of countries because talking about Malaysia, our major mm. export is E&E. &E. Yes, and yes. I'm pretty sure that uh, we assemble an E&E &E yes. product in Malaysia. The raw right. material comes from other countries, yes. so we need a data, a yes. data for, yes. from that yes. particular country. And I was informed about the My LCID, which is the right. life cycle inventory database. Yes. I'm pretty sure that Malaysia has it yes. in other countries yes. as well. Yes. So maybe uh, help me to understand the, the significance the of establishing. Of yeah. yeah. So for example, that's why when you say LCA, it's actually just a tool mm -hmm. to do the accounting. The accounting and what accounting are we talking about? Accounting of the environmental impacts. Hmm. I add the water that's been used to make a product mm -hmm. and the water doesn't refer to the water at my factory because my, I need the raw material. Water is needed in the raw material also. So it could be a product uses raw material from a country A and then it is sent to us in Malaysia to be made into a product mm -hmm. designed and we send it to country C. Mm -hmm. And country C will use it and dispose it. Yes. So when we talk of a life cycle accounting, I need data from country A, B, C, and D. Mm -hmm. So and that is one of the reason why, uh, when Malaysia has this database life cycle database, okay. we were invited by Europe, by UNEP, in fact, United mm -hmm. Nations Environmental Program, to come on board a network. And that network has countries with databases. And now there's this, uh, this aspiration that all these databases can talk. Hmm. So that it's easy for us to do an accounting that for this product, I can get data from country A, add to my product. And finally, when I footprint my product, I'm able to have access data from diverse databases. Hmm. And that is one of the reasons why uh, this network of countries have come together. Very much initiated, I have to say, by the developed countries. Hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. so... And this program is LCA is quite new, and I'm, I'm pretty sure in Malaysia, mm. especially the right. awareness right. And, uh, within the industry itself is quite right. low right. in that sense. So, and and uh, this is still 
at the early stage mm -hmm. in Europe. Say, for mm -hmm. instance, I was informed that there's there's uh, pilot projects going on, right. and the result would be on 2017. Yeah. Maybe you can explain the further. Pilot that. project. So, well, LCA is just a tool, mm -hmm. basically any accounting tool, just that it's an environmental accounting tool. Yes. Right. So, um, what the tool translates to is what we call a footprint. It can actually calculate like. Any, you know, any accounting gives mm. you a value, a figure. That is called the footprint of a product. Mm. So it can be the water footprint of a product. That is how much water was consumed to make this product. It can be the carbon footprint of a product. Mm. How much gas, greenhouse gas was emitted. It can be the energy footprint of the product. Mm. So footprinting is something that Europe has started at a pilot project for products ranging from food to electrical goods to consumer goods. And out of that, what we understood is that countries from uh, even from China, from I was told from Australia, even from New Zealand, not just the European countries, are participating in the pilot in anticipation that when the pilot is over, EU may come up with some directive. Mm. We don't know. Even the European Union themselves have said that we don't know what will come out. Mm -hmm. Whether it's going to be a taxation scheme, mm. or is it going to be just, um, or is this going to be a voluntary scheme, mm -hmm. or will it be something that's a directive that if you want to be exported to my country, mm -hmm. if you want to come to my country, you tell me what's your footprint. So the impact would be big in the sense that by that time we should have data that is validated, data that is trustworthy, that is of. Um, that is can, it's traceable, mm -hmm. so that when the footprint is finally printed onto a product, mm -hmm. there's confidence to say, okay, this product A and this product B, this has got a smaller footprint, am I willing to pay more for it? It, mm -hmm. it may happen that way, but we don't know. So we were informed, we, we, we also we were informed that by 2018, when all this pilot is over, then the decision will be, what is it going to be voluntary? Mm. Is it going to be a regulation? Yeah. So the impact could, I would say the impact should be significant. Yeah, the impact should be significant. Yeah. It's quite interesting in that sense. But um, in domestic uh, yeah. prospect or domestic mm. Uh, mm. view, how do, how, do, how, do you, do you, how do you see the uh, awareness among the industry players and what are the efforts put in place to well, you know, create um, awareness and all that? I would say LCA in Malaysia, you could say it's still infancy. Infancy in the sense that uh, we, we do have universities taking it up, but definitely has moved from being an academic research topic yes. to now being a topic being discussed in policy. Uh, just to let you know, the recent last week, the, the workshop was LCA in policy. So literally, mm. LCA was a tool or has been a tool used to define some policy limits mm -hmm. uh, and it has been taken place in, taking place in Europe and, other, and countries like Thailand. Mm -hmm. So we should expect there will be significant impact in terms of uh, affecting our export and it'd be very good if our country, uh, our policy makers, and I understand they are taking it up quite seriously to actually consider uh, how to consider even incentives to our industry mm. based on their performance. Uh, okay. And this performance can now be calculated objectively. Mm -hmm. No longer is my product is green and greener than yours. Yes. What do you mean by greener? Can we have a value to account for it? Mm. So that's how LCA will come in. And we do hope, and Serum is doing quite a number of programs, yes. uh, and we are hoping that the industry will take it more seriously, especially not just to export, Eventually, it is also for the good for our own environment. Yes. Yeah, okay. and so I think that's the direction we should be yes. taking. Okay, yes. all right. Thank you right. so much for sharing yes. with us about mm -hmm. LCA, and we wish you very good luck for Thank all you. the programs to create awareness among yes. uh, industry yes. players. Mm -hmm. That's all the time we have for today. Itu dah tadi Dr. Chen Sausun yang terpengarah kanan kajian dan inovasi teknologi Sirim Malaysia membincangkan tentang LCA.